Anyways, I want to talk about uh, your shop. You don't need a big shop. I see a lot of these guys with these really huge shops. I just wanted to let people know, like, you don't need a big space to start out. I started off with this room, and I built a business out of it, and it's only seven and a half by eight feet or something around. It's small, anyways. So I took this little cube and made a shop out of it. I like to tinker. And now I have a CNC machine in here. I have drill presses, sanders, routers, uh, soldering stations, uh, oscilloscopes, tools, parts, everything all in here and a lot more. It all depends on how you want to organize everything and you want to do it. So you don't need a big space. Even a room divider would work fine. Uh, for those of you that are just thinking about like, oh, I wish I had a shop. There's no real excuse uh, not to and be able to play and tinker. You don't need to go out right away and buy all the Arduino boards or the Raspberry Pi boards. Start off with something simple. Start off with a $2 or $1 kit on eBay. Get yourself a cheap soldering iron. I've got I don't know how many soldering irons. When it comes down to it, it doesn't have to cost a lot. A cheap soldering iron is like under $10 solder is you know cheap as well you know you could even buy some little cheap uh, cheap uh, perf boards they were cheap I bought like 50 of them for a couple of bucks or I can't remember exactly but it was cheap really cheap I grew this into a business so I bought a lot of stuff I didn't need uh, that I thought I would need and then I was buying things that I needed because I didn't know I needed them. A reballing station up here I've used only a half dozen times. You know, there's some tools and stuff like that that I don't use all the time and I could have probably lived without them. Take that into consideration. You don't need a million and one tools. Have fun with it. You, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get into it. And then yeah, build up and get yourself a, an Arduino board, a Raspberry Pi, but don't go and get the cheap knockoff ones when you first start. With those, I guarantee you the best thing to do is buy an actual Arduino kit with the project book. And that way you have this kit that will guide you through. And if you get through that whole kit, you're going to know that this is something that you want to carry on with and enjoy doing. And even if it takes you two or three years to get through the whole book or whatever it be, as long as you're enjoying it, that's the main thing. You have to enjoy what you're doing. It's your hobby, your passion. So if you don't like doing it, don't do it. That being said, don't do it as a job if you can get away with it. Um, working on electronics uh, and video game systems as a job really made me lose my, my ambition to want to be in this space. I really wanted out of it. I wanted to uh, just be done with electronics. I didn't want to know what the newest stuff out was. I didn't want to know anything. I just wanted to get away. It was just overwhelming because now all my projects were put on hold because I'm fixing uh, everything for everyone else. And that's not where my passion was. Yeah, I'm good at it, but I wanted... Uh, this for me this is my thing I don't do it for I, I didn't want to do it for well I did want to do it for everyone and their dog but there's not enough hours in a day when you're repairing stuff like uh, cell phones and stuff like that there's just too many of them out there too many people around anywhere with a broken phone and you're constantly going to be working on phones and uh, that's what turned me away from uh, electronics uh, as well uh, like I've had everything under the Sun in this shop on my bench or beside my bench if it was too big and I've I've loved it but it was the cell phones that overtook my business and uh, ultimately due to you know having to have so much product in stock and stuff like that it just wasn't making me the money that I wanted it to because I was putting it all back into product so if you're doing cell phones keep it limited do just iPhones do just Androids uh, you know stuff like that don't go full bore and do everything under the sun 
Start small, work your way up, build up that stock and inventory. That way you can give your customers the best possible turnaround time and uh, quality. So yeah, I will be doing uh, uh, giveaways and stuff like that here in the near future. I got a bunch of ideas of stuff I want to do, but that's all dependent on you guys out there. Um, you guys being active on the, the comments and stuff like that, it's going to show me that uh, there's interest and you guys are, you know, get some free stuff and uh, be able to tinker and enjoy. So I do know that this is a hobby. This is a hobby to me now, and that's how it's treated. I don't go and buy new stuff all the time. If I can't make it, uh, then I'll buy it, but I'll wait till it's on sale. Like, I'll go a long time without having something that I see everyone else in the world has. If you get into, like, the Raspberry Pi, at least you'll have the coding part and being able to make apps and stuff like that as a secondary thing to keep you occupied and busy so you have lots of room to expand and learn and uh, that, that's the great thing about a lot of these technologies I only have a Raspberry Pi 2 I don't have a 3 yet I think I bought this multimeter here on eBay for a couple of dollars and I should do a video on that on uh, multimeters because I do have a bunch of them uh, I got the bench top here uh, even have my oscilloscope there and I have a bunch of other ones random that I got in kits and stuff like that the main thing being there unless you're doing precise precise work any of these will do for starting out guarantee you the if there's any discrepancy in reading it's so minimal that it's not going to matter in whatever application you're going to be using as a new to electronics person. Remember, just get cheap. Don't worry about it. Like, this works. Like, I've had this for a while now. And uh, this one's great because I can uh, do a lot more with this little cheap guy than I can with uh, my more expensive units. If you want me to go more in on those, I will definitely do that. That's enough out of me. I need to get this shop cleaned up so I can get a couple projects done this morning here. If you guys have any questions, comments below, send me an email, whatever you want to do. Reach out to me, I'll answer as soon as I can. And um, yeah, please like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time, hopefully probably in a day or two here. So have a good day.